So I'm going to run it down really, really quick and as short as I can. So first of all, you need to go and download a software called Equalizer APO. Equalizer APO is on SourceForge, I guess. You can just get it, download it real quick. What it'll open up when you open it up, there's something called a configurator. So it'll open up this little screen right here once you install it. And it'll give you these options. So you got to go to capture devices and for your you have to select your input device, which is just the mic. I don't know how it is on a GoXLR, but if you have like a just mic line on your GoXLR, which has which doesn't have your other PC audio, just the mic, you got to select that here. And what that's going to do, for example, if I select here, you got to click OK, and it'll make you install the APO onto it. So it's going to be a quick restart. And then after you restart, uh, the software is going to be active and it'll stay active forever. So then you got to go to configuration editor, you just, you can just search it up. It's going to be right here. Um, and this is what's going to open up. So over here device, you got to select your mic device. For me, it's the M track audio solo, which is, um, basically my input mic from the XLR. So you just got to go here real quick, control device. So this one will pop up, change device. You just got to select the installed one. So it's going to be your mic input just the mic line i have an eq on here this is me without the eq this is me with the eq on so that's something if you want to do you can do it i have a bunch of running plugins for eqing my mic as well if you don't need that it doesn't really matter but here it is the vst plugin which is noise suppression which i find much better than rtx voice i'm just going to turn it off really quickly so you can see how it sounds without so now this is me with it on. With it off, I sound like this. There's a lot of noise in the background. But now if I turn it on, it sounds like this. I think it sounds much better than RTX voice and it doesn't take any computer performance. Like uh, RTX voice takes a lot of computer performance from your games and stuff. And then you get less frames and stuff. This is nothing like that. It's just a simple VST plugin. You can run it on anything. Like if you're producing music or anything, you can run it on any uh, digital audio workstation as well. So how to get it? You just gotta search up Berman noise suppression, GitHub. This is the link. I'll put it at, uh, I'll send the link as well. So it's just real time noise suppression. It uses machine learning, but the same thing, you just gotta go to releases right here. Download it. This you download it. You're going to get this VST file. So you just save it wherever you want. And then you gotta click here plugins vst plugin you add a new one select where you want it so i have it already set up here so you just add it up like this i don't need it so i'm going to delete it but yeah that's pretty much it and the best part is that you can eq within the software yourself and um, i use it with the uh, voice meter and the best part is that it doesn't create like a separate line or anything it's applies to your input device itself natively within Windows Audio. So you don't have anything else running. You don't have an extra app or anything. And as soon as you restart your PC, it's going to be there automatically. There's nothing really else to do. So this is really my go-to. It's just simple. You select your device, you add the VST plugin. And then if you want to add some other stuff onto it, you can do that as well. But yeah, I use this with my um, quadcast as well and it worked really, really well. So if you have a Go XLR, all you have to do is uh, install the APO onto just the mic device. If you have a separate line for the mic and not obviously the other uh, audio for it, for the other PC. So this is going to be it. Just uh, simple select the device, turn on noise suppression. You can turn it off whenever you want. So this is it with it off and this is back on. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll send the links for both uh, the software and... That's pretty much it. Hope this helped.